Otherwise, bisan on sa TV here. My discussion is bisagles. Bisaya in English. Now for today's lesson, we will discuss about finding the rate. We will use the person triangle to help you find the rate R or percent. There are three elements of percent triangle. Part, base, and rate. If the rate is unknown, the other two elements, the part and the base, are separated by the division sign. So, the formula is P divided by B equals R. Or can be written as R is equal to P divided by B. Take a look this example number one. What percent of 162 is 81? The formula R is equal to P over B. Let us identify what is the part and the base. So, the word of, kanisyang of, ang musunod niya nga numero, uh, basta kaning 162, mauni siya ang gitawag o base. O kaning 81, mauni siya ang part. So, ato ni siyang i-substitute. P is 81 divided by the base is 162. 81 divided by 162, the answer is 0.5 or it is 5 tenths. This is rate. So, let us change 5 tenths into percent. So, ando na ko'y paagi nga sa yun. Arun din na mag-multiply of 100%. So, yung nga niyo na lang siya. We will move this decimal point two places to the right. So, mag doon ang talirig sa kasero. So, move ta of two places to the right. One, two. So, kaning Decimal diri na bali na diri sa uh, diri adapit sa zero. So, nahitabu na, that is 50. Unya, isulat na lang nato ang percent. So, 50%, 0.5 in decimal is equivalent to 50%. Therefore, 81 is 50 percent of 162 okay next example what percent of 76 is 19 since percent is unknown the formula is Rate is equal to part divided by the base. Identify now the part and the base. So, nanapuning of ang numero ng masunod 76. So, mo ni si base o gani mo si part. So, part is substitute the value part which is 19 divided by the base which is 76 so but then, what is 19 divided by 76 the answer is 0.25 or that is 25 hundredths so sa pagi na ko na how to change this 25 hundredths into percent we will just Move this decimal point two places to the right. So, mahitabu ana 
Naingani na din siya. One, two. So, kaning decimal diri ah, na diri ang iyang decimal. So, na, that is 25, then, isulat ang percent. So, 2500s, the answer is the equivalent uh, percent is 25%. Therefore, 19 is 25% of 76. Okay. Next example. What percent of 200 is 4. So, the formula rate is equal to part divided by the base. Again, I identify the part and the base. So, the part is 4 and the base is 200. Substitute now the value of 4 to the part 4. Then, the base is 200. But what is 4 divided by 200? The answer is 0 0.02 or that is 200. Change this 200 or decimal into percent. So 200 ato na po ni siyang i move ning decimal point to the right to have two places to the right one two so nanadiri ang iyang decimal hitabo ana mahimo na ni siya o two percent ing ana lang ka sayon mag move move lang ta di nata mag multiply og number so the answer is two percent Therefore, 4 is 2% of 200. Okay, that is number 3. Next, number 4. Number 4 is what percent of 6 is 15? The formula of the percent is rate is equal to P or part divided by the base. Identify again the part and the base. The part is 15. Divided by the base is 6. So, what is 15 divided by 6? The answer is 2. Point five or two and five tenths. Change this decimal two and five tenths into percent. We will move this decimal point two places to the right. One, two. So I don't know zero di ha. The answer is two hundred fifty percent so two and five tenths is 250 percent therefore this six uh, this 15 is 250 percent of six okay our last example is a uh, word problem number five example Theresa answered 32 out of 40 questions on a test correctly what percent of the questions did she answer correctly so the unknown is percent percent is the rate. So, formula of the rate is R is equal to P over 
B. Now, let us identify what is the part and the base. So, from this problem, the first part from Theresa answered 32 out of 40 questions. So, the part is 32. And the base is 40. So, divide now. 32 divide 40. The answer is 0.8. We will change this decimal or 8 tenths into percent. Again, move two places, uh, move this decimal point two places to the right. One, two. So, I do not erase zero. So, ang answer niya is 80%. Okay. So, 8 tenths is equal to 80%. So, ang rate na 80%, mo ni ang correct na na-answer ni Theresa. Okay. I hope na nasagtan ninyo, bisan o gamay lang ang topic na ito karon ng finding the rate. Please subscribe and click the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga bagong videos ko. Dayang salamat and Merry Christmas!